welcome back to my channel today i wanted to show you guys how to get a how to prom smoky eye if you want to know how to get my brown smoky eye for prom stay tuned time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust yeah no i don't I have these like little clips so my hair can keep out. The brows today, what do we feel like the brows? They're really bold and I kind of dig them. So let's get started. Of course, I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise base, as always, just a little bit. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush and blend it. All right, you guys, so I just primed my eyes and now we can jump into our Morphe and James Charles palette. For the first shade we're going to go in with is called Tune, which is the third color in the middle section. And it's like this yellowish, goldish, it's more like a goldish, um, but it's really nice transition. And I am, um, I'll, hopefully if it works, I'll try to put a picture on the screen of what I'm inspired by. I actually followed a tutorial. And I kind of want to like add some shadows that this person did in. Um, but the person I'm really, I got this look by is Angela Bright. She did like this, um, I think it was like a neutral eye and it was so pretty. So, um, I'll have her link down below. And I'm, I usually set, um, with a, br uh, been setting with a white with, um, flashback. I think you guys seen me, uh, set with flashback. But today I am going straight in with shadow because I want my shadows to be really intense. And of course for prom, you want, like the picture the um eye makeup to pop and another quick tip too is eye makeup to pop is um not only setting your base but going a bit darker than you would so in pictures the colors really shine also another tip for your first transition shade um transition is the first uh shade eyeshadow um you really want to make sure that um or you want it's best to i think to have a fluffy brush this is so fluffy it's the morphe e27 you guys hear me on like every video um but like it really like it's gonna deposit the color um and like since it's fluffy it's gonna distribute it um rather than pack it and you can do the packing later once you have like your first few shades on but if you have a too dense brush it might not like blend it out like this it just blends effortlessly and you also want to be careful too when you're working um with like when you don't have your base set um, like, yeah, that you're going really lightly and also how I did, like, packing it in sections, the color. Because, um, that way you don't disturb your base. I'm going super light. You're going to do circle motions or windshield. I'm going to do the same to the other eye and just build up these colors. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. See, it's so smooth. Just dabbing it so you don't disrupt the base and then going kind of at sections. It's gonna really help with it looking so smooth. All right, guys, so now you can see it's so blended. I actually haven't gotten a good blend like this in so long. So now, to deepen it up, I'm going to go in with Code James. You can use for your second shade the same fluffy brush, but I want it to be more detailed and more defined, so I'm going in with still fluffy brush, but this is gonna get you a bit more precise. Um, and this is a, a brush from Alamar Cosmetics. Um, I got in a boxy charm, and again, I'm going to code James just to define the look. It's almost like a cinnamony color. I really like the P. Louise base because it makes the eyeshadows pop. Look at that, guys. And that's what we want. The eyes to look popping on prom. Oh my gosh, guys, I need to show you once we get closer to prom, I can like, um practice or well, i'm gonna well with the prom series i'm gonna practice more looks but i got my dress guys so i won't get into too much details but i went into this event um for prom and they gave you free prom dresses and it was really cool um or you get to pick out one dress and they got a fad one because a lot weren't fitting they had really pretty ones though but i got this blue one i think it's gonna look stunning it's like a blue and it has these like um so it has gemstones on my dress silver gemstones and there's one blue gemstone on like um the stomach kind of 
and then it goes up to about here and it's really pretty and I can't wait to see like for you guys to see I'm so excited for prom guys I just need to get shoes I also got a cute bag from that event because you could pick pick two accessories and I picked a purse and I also had to get to work too so but yeah but I'm also wondering if I like what if I did this with the look I don't know how it'd go but maybe I'll do a blue look I don't know because it's a blue dress but I could do this look like a gold shimmer that's what I'm planning to do for the video like a gold shimmer right there oh but look at that guys oh <gasps> god bless so far I'm having a nice makeup day like well, look at that since i blended the tra transition um really nice like once you get a good transition down the other shades are just gonna blend on top this is so pretty oh my gosh i'm actually like i gave myself the chill by the way guys um i applied to sephora and ulta and i'm so excited i pray to god i can get it i'll keep you guys posted and i also am active on my social medias my instagram um and twitter Mostly Instagram though, so I'll link that down below and on the screen. I'm just doing like light circular motions, not bringing it too high so the transition is still seen. I usually go in back with a fluffy brush to further blend it, but I don't think I need to do that. I think I'm also getting a, a good blend because I wash my brushes. If you're gonna, definitely gonna make sure you wash your brushes good. I also wanna make sure that when I smile, you can still see like the colors too. And I am going for a winged out look. I really like that on my eye. I'm kind of dragging it, kind of making like a wing-ish, but I'll also use a makeup wipe later. Voila. I'm gonna do the same side um, with Cochines. Same to the other side as I did this side. I might go back to my Alamo brush, but I'm going to try going into a smaller brush so you can really get um, even more precise um, with a darker color. Because with lighter colors, you can have a bigger brush, but then you want to get the smaller the brush, the darker the color is, so you can concentrate it in that spot. So, ow, that hurt when I just blew. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I got my wisdom teeth out. They're sore, but they're not doing bad. But I got all four out, and yesterday I was loopy. I mean, got, comment down below if you guys want to see the videos I took. Just short videos when I got out of anesthesia and I'm like loopy and funny and stuff. The next shade I'm going to go into is 10% Off, which is like a brown, medium brown shade, not too dark. Ooh, look how pigmented, honey. Tap that off. Going on the outer part of my eye, just tapping the color in. It's not too crazy. And start to work it. Bringing it into the lash line too, so it creates that dimension. Uh, definition. Doing a little small dab so the color doesn't get all everywhere. It's really pretty. And I think it'll look great in photos too. Um, to make it still more like reddish, I'm gonna go in with a shade of um, teak. So it has kind of like a reddish there. And kind of mix them. And this is a Morphe M433. You can pack with this color, but you can also blend. Or with this brush, but you can also blend. By the way, guys, we hit 70 subscribers! Yeah! We're almost to 100. Let's keep it going. Yes. It's got, like, that beautiful, like, smokiness. I'm gonna do, the, of course, the same on the other side. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I zoomed you guys in just a little bit more so you can see the eyes. They're so pretty. What do you guys think? Um, I don't know if we should darken it just a little bit more. Keep it like this. I kind of like it like this. I might darken it, but I don't know. But right now, I'm going to add a beautiful gold shimmer shade. So, I'm going to be taking the shade... I'm going to start off with So Good, which is like this goldish. But to start off, I'm going to go in with a Morphe E19. Using a small packing brush... It's really good, so you can be like precise with that color and it doesn't get all over. And I like um, just like really tapping it carefully. Um, Cause it depends what look you're going for and if you want the shimmer like up in the crease you can, but for this look I wouldn't like, um, like it's better to like kind of control where you put um, it on the lid if that makes sense. Do you want the control? if it gets all over the crease, I don't know, it kind of 
might mess up the work. Like if you're doing a pink look and you wanted it to be all like sparkle with the mattes, like you could, but for this look, more like um the matte shadows versus the shimmer. And with this brush, it's kind of cool because um you can kind of move it like this, like um as if you're cutting the crease, and it'll look really like like um sharp. Let's see. So when I smile, you can still see that shimmer. I'm just gonna have a squirt or two. Go, I'll go in with a squirt or two on my brush. Um, with a Catrice setting spray just to amp it up a little bit. And I'm actually like almost out of this. Like barely any of it is in it. I should add water in it. But I kind of, if you spray a brush, um, for like shimmer shades to intensify it, intensify it. Um, you just kind of want to fan it out a little bit so it kind of dry. So you're not going in with like a wet and it might ruin it because it might ruin the look. I'm dipping back into the shade and see like it just grabs. Hopefully it's focusing, it's focusing. Oh yes, <gasps> it is focusing. So it kind of just grabs more product when it's wet. And go back and just tap on it. It'll also kind of make the shade more metallic too. See how it's kind of more metallic. It's not, doesn't look as much like, like um, eyeshadowy. It looks more like you put like a liquid eyeshadow on your eye. Like look at that. Just amps up that color. Then do the same on the other side. I love this palette because most of the shades are really like, they blend good and the color payoff is so good. Like, look at that, like especially the shimmer. Comment down below if you guys have tried any of the looks I've done or you plan to um, with who has the palette. And even if you don't have the palette, um, you can just use like similar shades from a different um, palette because these sort of shades are off like in a lot of other palettes too. Oh, I'm on, off camera, I did add the shade, um, the very matte white shade, a uh, flashback uh, to set um, the eyebrow area and kind of blend out over here and just make everything smooth. Now, I don't know if you can see, but when you pack on the shade, there might be some transfer into the crease. Um, but to help with that, um, you can either go back in with your fluffy brush that you did or um, the second brush just to dust off um, any or kind of blend any uh, shimmer that might have gotten in the crease. Just kind of blending it also so there's not like a harsh line where you packed it. It all looks smooth like that. Yes, and then I also like to blend um, on the outer uh, corner as well, where the lid shade meets the matte, kind of blend them so it doesn't look like um, they're like, like it's not, um, like they're not just sitting on top of each other, they're like actually like together. They're like um, mesh together. I'm just lightly going like that to blend them together. And also kind of going from the outer corner to the shade um, so you don't take the shade outward. You can even take a little bit more of the product if you want to. More of the mattes if you feel like it's not working. Kind of just tap right there. Tap right there. Oh, look at that, guys. Looks so pretty. Ooh, I love this look. If you wanted, you can deepen it, but I, I'm really satisfied. It looks blended. Like, it looks so good. Like, once you have your shimmers, it looks so good. Um... And you can keep this matte, like the eyebrows. I think I am today because I really like how it's just like a matte white, like all matte with a shimmer. Sometimes though, I'll add the shade um, ring light to looks if I feel like I just want some like shimmery. But I really like it. Like, yes, honey. Looks so good. Like the brows aren't bad either. Like they're just really like fierce. So guys, I'm going to add lashes, um, add, do my face. Um, so you guys can see what everything looks like at the very end. And actually, guys, I am going to be doing a foundation test. I am going to be doing a foundation powder test between the Kat Von D powder and the Hourglass powder. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys when the face is complete. Before I forget and do my foundation, I forgot to t uh, t uh, show you guys, but um, I am taking a makeup wipe and really carefully going from my outer like 
corner and dragging upwards and kind of following my eye shape um, to make like a winged out look. So it'll be really pretty with the lashes. But now let's go to the face. Hi guys, we're back. I did my face off camera and now we're ready to smoke out the lash line. Uh, put on the lip and complete the video. So I'm basically gonna do um, the same as what I did um, on the above eye or on the on my eyelid um the same like colors i did on the lower lash line but i think for the lower lash line i might make it just like a tad more smoky so let's get started for the lower lash line if you want to get really good smoked out um under eye the key is a really small precise brush this one it's fluffy but it fits right into the eye and this is a brush from luxie um but here's the brush but i'm just going to repeat what i did before so i'm going in with Code James, which is that gold shade. I'm kind of dusting it softly um, back and forth. Um, and it, you can go as low as you want, but I kind of go where my, um, like right here. So, cause sometimes I get color transfer. So the lower you go, there might be less transfer. You don't want to go too low and that's the look you're looking for, but I kind of go like right here where my wrinkle is too. My dog's trying to come in. Depends on how much smoke you want, but I really want a lot of smoke, so I'm gonna build these colors. I'm gonna do the same to the other side, and we'll do the next color. So the next color I took on the eye was um, Code James, using that same brush. And with the darker color, you kinda gonna wanna go higher. Then you placed, um, that first color so that it kind of gives like a gradient. Uh, once you've like smoked out the, um, the color out, you kind of want to connect it carefully to where like your eyeshadow is so it just looks seamless and put together. See, it just creates that really nice gradient. So now, with really darker colors, if you want to pack it on, go in with an even smaller brush, and this is also a dense brush. This is a, like a pencil brush, the Morphe E18. It's gonna really pack the color, and I like to use these two together. So then I'm going with the next deeper shade, 10% off, with also Boutique, the reddish color we used. Kind of going up here first, really up. I'm going about midway. Connect it to the outer corner. Ooh, and you got yourself a look. It just lifts the eye. And going, um, smoking underneath just adds more dimension um, and more to the look. And then to blend out that darker shade, I'm just going to go in with this brush. Because it has some uh, leftover shadow and it's going to blend it. It looks so pretty. Holy shit. Crap sauce. Oh, there we go. We have a smoked out lash line. If you wanted, you could add black eyeliner. I thought I was going to, but I think with the lashes, it'll just add more drama. Because you don't, I for me, I don't want to go too dark. But also, this colors, if you have blue eyes, it really makes the eyes pop. So I want to pop off lashes off camera. But before we do that, um, I'm going to quickly toss on um, like a nudish orange lip because since it's like a sunset, a nudish peachy lip is really gonna suit the look so of course i'm gonna go in with my kylie dirty peach should have brought the i should have brought the lip liner that comes with it but this will do but see it just really oh my god i got lipstick on my light anyways it really complements the look it's like a peach nude Also, my lips are kind of dry. I put chopstick on this morning, but don't clock me. These do dry really fast. Yes, honey. I'm gonna add lashes and we'll be right back to finish up the video. Alright guys, so I finished 
the look i added some lashes the lashes that i use are the sephora fringe number four and i'll have all the details down below for the look of the lashes and stuff but i put on some lashes finish the face what do you guys think this concludes our how to prom brown smoky eye this was inspired by angela bright i'll have her uh, linked in the um, description below but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like me, if you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys know someone who might like my channel, who likes makeup, please let them know about my channel and tell them to subscribe as well. Thank you guys so much, guys. And one more thing, comment down below what look you guys want to see next. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye, guys.